11 NFL picks. Let's get into it, baby. We are 152 on the year. I feel like that's kind of good, bro. Like, some people for sure, you know, do bad. I think we went 10-3 and three last week or something like that. I think we got three games wrong. We picked the Bears. Uh, we picked the, Ram uh, the Rams. There was probably another game in there. But let's get straight into it, bro. You guys came here for a reason. You guys came here to see my picks. So let's get started with the game that happens in two hours of me making this video. It's currently 3-23. But the time you guys see this, so yeah, whatever. Who cares? First up, we got the Washington Commanders heading into Philadelphia Eagles territory for a big game, a divisional matchup. The winner of this game will have a lead in the division of the NFC East. And you already know, baby, it's fly. Eagles fly, baby. So <laughs> come on now. You already knew who I was taking, man. <laughs> you already knew who I was taking, got it? Come on now, man. You already know the birds. It's going to be a good game, though. Um, this is one of the three games that has two teams with oh, more than seven or more wins uh, going head-to-head. -head. So, yeah, I'm excited about this game. Um, Marshawn Lattimore is not playing, so that's probably good for the Eagles. Eagles get Jordan Mailata back, left tackle. Uh, so, yeah, it should be a good game. Um, obviously, I want the Eagles to absolutely blow them out. But I respect the Commanders. I don't have any beef with the Commanders. Only the Cowboys. Like, the Giants are cool, too. Um, but, yeah, hopefully we get this dub. Uh, Green Bay Packers at the Bears. I had a lot of faith in the Bears, bro. I started gassing them up. I started being like, oh, the Bears are nice. They got all the weapons. Caleb Williams is looking good. No, he's a buster. That O-line stinks, and their defense hasn't done anything to show me that they're a good team. But, I mean, I, guess, I think they get Jaquan Brisker back this week, but, like, he's not going to put points on the board. He might. Maybe he gets a pick six now that I said that. If you want to do any time touchdown Bears defense, go ahead, because Jordan Love does throw picks. But I'm going to take them. 1%? Do y'all see this? They have 1% picks? That's crazy. I'm going to Detroit at home. Um, I don't know if Trevor or Mac Jones are starting. It don't matter. Uh, the Lions would have to throw 8 picks for them to lose this game. Uh, but, yeah. Vikings, Titans. Um, yeah, I'm taking, the tight. I'm taking the Vikings on this one. Titan. This is a game the Titans could randomly win. Like, it's a trap game for the Vikings. A random game the Titans could win because Will Levis has his best game of the season. And the Vikings get embarrassed at home. I mean, on the road. So, excuse me. It could happen. I could see it. Now we got doo-doo butter against hot garbage. Um, Gardner Minshew starting for the Raiders. The Dolphins did get a big win against um, the Rams. And I feel like, you know, if the Dolphins win a couple more games, um, they could be looking at a p potential playoff. Uh, chance. I think they play the Jets twice. They'll play the Bills again, and they'll play the Patriots again. So if they beat the Jets twice and they beat the Patriots, that's looking like three extra wins. So that's potentially nine and eight, ten and seven. You know, we'll see. The AFC is tricky because the Chargers are good. So we'll see. But I'm taking the Dolphins at home. Um, I think Tua and Tyreek finally have a good game this season. So if you guys are betting or if they're playing fantasy, you know, you could play them. Click. Thank you. Um, next up, Rams at Pats. Uh, the Rams didn't look good last week against the Dolphins. They kicked eight, six field goals, five field goals. Um, yeah, it was 23 to 15. They couldn't score in the red zone, but it's fine. I don't think the Patriots are going to win this game. The Browns at the Saints. Famous Jameis is, famous Jameis is going to be playing quarterback. Um, yeah, bro, I think I'm taking the Saints on this one. The Saints have looked a little bit better. Chris Olave should be back this week. Kamara's not dropping passes this week. I know they just lost to the Panthers two weeks ago, but they got a win last week. Uh, so I got faith in the Saints to get the dub this week. One of the games of the week. I don't know how this game is at 10 a.m., bro. Like, how did this game not get flexed to the... I don't even know what the Sunday night... No, the Sunday night game is the Chargers and the Bengals. That's a good game, but I would, would have flexed this into that. Or the Chiefs-Bills into that section. But Ravens at Steelers this is a tough one, bro. This is a tough one. Steelers at home. The defense is tough. Russ has been playing tough, throwing them high bombs to uh, George Pickens and whatnot. But, like, bro, Lamar Jackson's the MVP, bro. I don't know. Are the, are the Steelers for real? Are the Steelers for real? Because I've seen – I don't know, bro. I don't know. I really don't know. I think I got to take the Ravens, though, bro. I think I got to take the Ravens. Steelers at home, though, bro. You know what, man? Nah. I'm going to take the Ravens. I'm going to take the Ravens. I'm going to take the Ravens. Colts at Jets. <sighs> this is tough. This is tough. 
Because if the Jets would have won last week, I'm 100% taking them this week. But now that they lost last week, this is also a must win. And Anthony Richardson's back. I'm going to take the Colts, bro. Because if the Jets lose this game, their season's over. I'm going to take the Colts. Why not? Why not? We'll take the Colts. Uh, Falcons at Broncos. Kirk plays good every other game. Last week, he was pretty mid. Threw for 300 yards, but no touchdowns. I'm going to take the Falcons because I think Kirk's going to have a good game. Uh, Pat Sertan's not going to have enough to play defense by himself, if I'm going to be honest. But, hey, we'll see. Another divisional matchup. Seattle Seahawks going into 49er land. CMC's back. Brock Purdy's going to start playing good again because he's got CMC back. That defense is going to be on Geno's ass. But DK Metcalf is back, and DK always scores a touchdown against the Niners. So anytime touchdown, DK Metcalf, code Wabo on Underdog Fantasy and Prize Picks. Go use that right now, and I'll send you a cookie. On everything, I'll send you a cookie, bro. And you let me know what cookie you want. You want a Subway cookie? You want a, uh, 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 a McDonald's cookie? You want a Jimmy John's cookie? Um, you want me to make you some cookies, bro? Like, cookies, bro. I got the cookies. But, yeah, we're going to take the Niners. We for sure are taking the Niners right here. Chiefs at Bills. Upset alert, baby. I don't know if it's an upset because they're favored. But, like, you know, they're 9-0. Um, I feel like a lot of people are taking the Bills to win this. And that's the exact reason why the Chiefs will win. Uh, but I'm still picking the Bills, you know. I don't, I don't care, bro. Like, I'm still p picking the Bills to get this dub. Um, this is a game the Chiefs win, huh? Like, everybody's picking the Bills to win because, like, it's the best team they've played. And it's on the road. And the Bills normally beat them. But all that being added up, the Chiefs still win somehow. That's just the Chiefs' way, bro. They just always pull it out. They butt. Uh, pause. But right here we got the Bengals going into the Chargers. It's probably going to be a Bengals home game, damn near. I'm not really familiar with Cincinnati fans and how well they travel. Um, but so far it's going to be packed. The Chargers don't have fans. They just don't exist. And it's a must win for the Bengals, bro. It's a must win. I think they get over the hump in a close game and they beat the Chargers. Chargers are still nice, though. I still think the Chargers can make the playoffs. But it's going to be between the Bengals, the Chargers, and if the Dolphins win some games, um, them as well. And then we get the battle of the state of Texas. This game was really hyped up before the season, but now the Texans seem kind of mid, a um, little overrated, and the Cowboys are just trash. Like, Cooper Rush is playing quarterback. No disrespect to him. Shout out to him. Um, but it's not looking great. I'll tell you that. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and take the Texans to win this game, and that's going to round out our bets for this week. Score total, we're going to say 41. Um, I'm going to guess like, 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 like 24 to 17 or something. I think the Cowboys keep it close. I don't think they get blown out. But, yeah, I'm going to say that for that. This is our list. We got uh, Eagles tonight. We got Packers. We got Lions, Vikings, Dolphins. Rams win, Saints win, Ravens win, Colts win, Falcons win, Niners win, Bills win, Bengals win, and... The Texans win. You feel me? But as usual, like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys are new here, I appreciate y'all for watching. If you made it this far, bro, I love you because nobody really makes it to the end of the video. Um, so I appreciate y'all and hope you guys have a blessed weekend. Blessed days. And we'll be back next week. Let's get it.